I'm Jack Biggie, uh, second generation from Owls. I'm Mark Biggie, Jack's son, third generation owner of Owls. Well, my dad started a very small fruit stand in Hubbard down the road five miles. He decided he'd wanted a bigger city. So he moved to Woodburn here on this spot, bought three quarters of an acre and got him to throw in a chicken house uh, in the deal. And he moved the chicken house over onto this property and that became Al's fruit stand. So, but that's how we got to Woodburn. And uh, that was in 48, we actually opened the chicken coop here in Woodburn. Well, you weren't around. <laughs> I wasn't there, that's all <laughs> your story. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see, in about, uh, see, I got married in 64, about 65, 67, uh, we turned, took out the chicken coop and built the building that you now see. But everything faced the highway. We had roll-up doors in the front and you could see all the fruit and everything from the highway. And Dad was very, we were fairly successful as a fruit stand. And then I started adding nursery stock because the season from February to strawberries in June was pretty dead. The nursery stock fit in pretty well. So that's how we got into the nursery business. We just kind of eased into it very slowly. Oh, we were knee deep in fruit. Bananas were our specialty. We sold more bananas than the whole city put together, but we had a sign out on the road and there, that was the banana sign and that price would change two, three times a day. We sold a lot, a lot of bananas, plus all the other fruit, all the fruit in season. I even remember the banana sign. Yeah. We, out there, we used to spray paint with the stencils. Right. Spray paint it on there, and then we got fancy, and it was painted, and we just changed the price of yeah. the bananas. Yeah, just put up the, the amount of bananas. A dollar yep. always stayed the same, but it was the amount of bananas. People would go by, well, they were nine pounds for a dollar this morning. Well, now they're three. <laughs> we brought flowers in, and then pretty soon, we changed the name from Al's Fruit Stand to Al's Fruit and Shrubs Center. So the shrubs and nursery had to go up as the fruit went down. It worked pretty good. So guys, you remodeled the store in, what, what were you saying, was it 92, 93? 92, 93, we switched it from a fruit stand to a nursery. That was about the prime time and shortly after that, we dropped all the fruit and went strictly nursery. Mm -hmm. One of the things that dad did was, at the time, um, there weren't garden centers like there are now. And he was doing a lot of traveling, visiting other garden centers across the country and across the world. And he was the one that came up with the idea of covering a lot of space with, with greenhouses to make it more comfortable for the customer to shop. And so when we remodeled, did that remodel, we added the first greenhouses on, and that was really the genesis of starting the garden center appearing all of our garden centers appearing the way they are and the base for why we have so much covered area for the customers to shop in. I wanted to build one right so we went out to Sherwood had a friend that had some property there bought the property and he said all oh, that area is going to develop and we were out there in the middle of absolutely nowhere we had more geese than we had people around us and we designed one the way we wanted it. We learned based from what, yeah. this was our store for, for how many years until 2005 when yeah. we built the Sherwood store. And so we learned the lessons from building this gradually and what worked and what didn't work. And, and we, we settled into what we really like here at the Woodburn store. And we took those lessons and, and transferred those over to Sherwood and just made it bigger. Well, it has 75 years of longevity. And I'll swear we have some of the original customers still here. Very rarely, but sometimes, we'll find a check made out to Al's Fruit Stand. Still. Some gift, we get some gift certificates, yeah, our old right. paper gift certificates yeah. back that say Al Fruit, Al's Fruit Stand on them. To me, it makes it so special because I was 
this is where I was raised. <clears throat> when I was young, I'd come in to work with dad. This is where I was running around. This was the property. You know, the store didn't look anything like this, but I'd be building, building projects. I'd be fixing boxes. You know, this is where I grew up. And, and when we worked in the spring, this is where we came into work. And so it's been fun to watch it build all my life. And so, you know, this is, it's, it's got a very special place in my heart.